Larry Fort, artist, entertainer, and provocateur. He is known for his paintings, his bold use of color, and a blatant disregard for the feelings of others. But I wanted to find out what made him tick, so I set about trying to schedule a meeting. After several failed attempts, I got one. So last month, I had the good fortune to finally sit down with the artist in his studio for an hour of questions and conversation. He's a very busy man, so I wanted to be prepared. I really wanted this interview to go well. And it did. I think. Okay, Mr. Ford, if you will, please just um, repeat the question and then give your answer. When did you know you were an artist? Didn't really know, but it turned out that way. What inspires you? Who was it that said, if you wait for inspiration, then you never paint? Probably pretty accurate. Do you have a philosophy? Do I have a philosophy? Sure. I have a philosophy. I have a point of view. I have an agenda. I don't use any of that in my artwork. They're paintings. I just want to make a painting. My philosophy regarding my artwork is make another one. Make another painting. That's my philosophy. Philosophy. Well, do you make a living from your art? No, I have to keep a job because dreams don't pay the rent. Why is the sky blue? Atmospheric perspective. Why is anything anything? Are you trying to communicate anything with a, uh, any depth or is it just the initial response of my feelings are a secret code only to be deciphered by other painters? For those among us with proper esoteric training. It's only a painting. No depth. Nothing. How do you get started on a painting? How do you compose? How do you decide on each detail? You know, Where do you how begin? I get started, I don't know. I try to keep it simple. It always ends up more complicated. You know, I get started, you stretch a canvas, you make something painting. Paint it on there. If you're not selling your paintings, then how can you still call yourself an artist? Good question. Well, artist is a generalized, simplified term. I'll go with it. Not that complicated. Why all the publicity stunts? Does that really add to your artwork? Is that part of it? Is that, uh, is that what you know, artists do? Oh, these why days? all the publicity? Well, why do I try all these publicity stunts? I just want to draw attention to myself. I want people to like me and draw an audience. Then, the, uh, then hopefully I'll be able to fill the gaps with some, you know, something of quality. You don't know. You don't know what you don't know. What's next for Larry Ford? What's in your future? Any shows? Where, where can I see your stuff? Where do you see yourself 10 or 20 years from now? Another good question. Shows, nah, I don't know. I don't know. I'll do a, do a few things, a few paintings, a few shows. You know, nothing coming up lately. I'll write a book one day. Haven't started it. So, the short movies, a couple songs, a couple paintings. <coughs> <clears throat> is painting dead? Is painting dead? If you're dead, if you're dead, painting's dead. If you're a dumbass, painting's dead. If you're a, like simpleton, painting's dead. Every five years for the last hundred years, some goofball's written an article musing on the notion of whether or not painting is dead. It's not. It's bullshit. Painting's not dead. How long did it take you to do that? How long did it take you to do that? How long did it take me to do that? Well, not long if you don't count my entire life. You know, how long does it take you to tap your little buttons, publish your little article, grab your little article about grab your little artist? Bleep, 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 bleep. How long does it take you to do it? Oops. Look at me, I'm a reporter. <laughs> Oh, that 
ask you, what's my impression of you? One without the beer. Painting is not dead. You're welcome. You're welcome for that truth. Oh, Lord.